thank God, or I mean Allah, that he gave me his blessing. Just everything we've been through and like a real father-son bond and it's just great. I've done anything like it before, so. You know, I want that to sink in real quick. Because you know what, for some reason when I first came across Sam this season, I was like, I'm not gonna like this guy. And don't get me wrong, we all do it right, we judge a book by his character. But for me, personally, Sam has grown on me, to be honest with you, throughout this season, honestly. I generally feel like he's somebody that has his heart in the right place, but he's just been around people that haven't guided him correctly, or people that hasn't necessarily given him the arm on the shoulder that he needs. You know, obviously, you know, I mean, we experience his father throwing him under the bus at the dinner table, you know, when his father pretty much said that I never thought he was ever, ever going to become someone or go anywhere. But, you know, somehow, he's, he, somehow he has found somebody who's been able to, you know, bring out a, a better version of him, you know? And I think with Sam, he's probably somebody that's had a life of where he's made so many mistakes, but along that, along that journey, his mother, his father have lacked support. They've given up on him. Or maybe, or maybe he's come from those families where, look at this way, sometimes people can't come from a family where there's already a support system. Everybody's loving, everybody's caring, all that kind of stuff. But sometimes people come from a family where it's literally every person for themselves. Mommy and daddy's maybe not around that often. Maybe they're always working or mommy and daddy are no longer together, all that kind of stuff. Now, here's the thing. In those situations, it's only a certain caliber of a child can survive that, right? You have to have a certain level of common sense that you already have with that kind of tells you, okay, I've got to do this, 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 and that to make sure that I go places. But not everybody has that. Sam is probably one of those people that's probably been vulnerable since day one. He's probably one of those people that's always need an arm around his shoulder. He's probably one of those people that has always needed to be loved because the way he speaks about Citra's dad in this scene right here, you know, as if like Citra's dad, his relationship with him has been like no other. It's like a relationship he's always wanted to have, but he's never had it. So, you know, that's why he's become the way he has become. But of course, the way Sam has become, you know, he can't, I wouldn't say that he's become like this just because his parents may have never been good enough to him or whatever, because at the end of the day, he's the one that ended up being one of those people who unfortunately was easily influenced by, I guess, the wrong people around him. Like, you got to think about it. For him to become someone that took drugs and all that kind of stuff, that would have come from an influence of something. That would have been, that would have come from an influence of maybe being around the wrong people. And also at the same time, him being a vulnerable person at the time. And the question is, why was he even a vulnerable person? Was he a vulnerable person because he was never loved at home? You never know, right? But this is something else that we're going to speak about throughout this episode because something else happens that really makes me think, damn, like, I feel like this guy was kind of, he's been put in a situation that, yeah, it's, it's not been great. But we'll get there when we get there. But for the time being, please do hit that subscribe button. I know you're, make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? <laughs> Especially if you're a returning viewer, please hit that subscribe button, help us get to 50k. Also, like the video. And now with that being said, let's get into a bit more of uh, Sam's, uh, situation here it was a special moment for both of us because i'd really like both my parents to be there when i convert even if they don't agree with it it's a big moment for me and her and her parents are there why can't i have my parents there it's like this is exhibit number one do you know what i mean him even expressing actually this is exhibit number two sorry number two yeah him even expressing the fact that he would like his parents to be there but at the same time it kind of felt like as if he was expecting them to let him down because he's used to it Papa? It'd be nice if my mom was here, but you know, kind of hurts, but I'll take what I can get. Not religious at all, but he loves me enough to be there and support me. It's crazy because he had to downplay his mom's role not being there. He's saying it kind of hurts. Now, it hurts him a lot. It's just that he's probably had to keep a strong face for such a long time. But this is the sad part about it. The strong face he said to keep has never been strong because, you see, while he's been trying to keep this strong stance of, okay, I'll be fine without you guys, or I'll be fine always having to pick myself up, in reality, his version of picking himself up was sadly turning into, into, into drugs. And that probably would have come from me being around the wrong people at the time. Because look at it this way, if you're somebody that comes from a place where you're not loved or you're not cared for, or you're not given the attention that you needed, and then you get it from somewhere else, even if that place is a bad place, what happens? You end up going to that place. And maybe that was the case. But let's not forget though, when Sam got arrested originally, he was actually with his ex at the time. So that means that person he was with then, that's also someone that was also into that lifestyle as well. So for somebody that's probably always been around that lifestyle, that's the lifestyle that's probably, it's probably the lifestyle that's probably made him love the most because he's maybe not got the love that he felt like he needed or wanted from home. But either way though, it's a good thing that his dad did turn up for him in this situation. You see what I'm saying? Because he obviously needed it. But hey ho, let's continue. Thanks for coming. Yes. Okay. 
for me personally, like I'm happy for him because the more I look at the relationship with him and Zidra, I still don't know if she's with him for the right reasons, to be fair. It's a bit, mm -hmm. but then again, though, there has been scenes recently that's made me feel like I do feel like she's actually with him for the right reasons. But I think for Sam, most importantly, he's probably needed someone like her and someone like her family to be in his life, to be honest with you, because it does feel and seem as if like he has changed his ways since obviously he's had Citra around him, do you see what I'm saying? Because, you know, his father pointed it out, you know what I mean? His father definitely pointed out that, you know, it took Sam to meet the right person for him to change his ways, which obviously is a big, big hint. And then also on top of that, the fact the way Sam talks about Citra's family, the way obviously they've, you know, loved him, the way they've obviously bring, brung him in and the way they've always like, the way he's had a relationship with, with her father as if it's like a father-son situation, that says a lot, you know what I mean? So I feel like for Sam, he's probably someone who, he's been on a journey to try and find somebody to love him and to care for him the way he's never had before. And I guess most importantly, to kind of give him a reason to never have to relapse again. And hopefully Citra is that. Hopefully that is the that, that is the goal. And let's be real, Citra has spoken previously about the fact that even when he's had no money, she's, he's always done his best to make her feel like she is still number one priority. And she's also said that even when he's had nothing, she's always been more than happy to pay for meals and to do and to pay for certain things that, they, that, that, that they've done when he's gone to Indonesia. And I think now the more I think about it, when she spoke about him always doing what he can, even with that money, I think what she means is he's had to travel to Indonesia multiple times to see her, right? But obviously in that moment, he's probably, he's definitely not had jobs because we've seen this guy, with his track record, he's definitely been in and out of jobs. So that means he's probably been one of these people that has worked, saved as little as he, as he has, just to be able to fly and see her. And obviously when he's gone over there, she's probably looked after him because she's probably understood that he's somebody that had nothing. And because he had nothing, and he was able to still make something out of nothing to at least go and see her and spend time with her, she was like, well, the least that I can do is still look after him when he's here. Because maybe she also knows that as long as she can guide him and help him, that he's going to, you know, um, be that provider that she needs and be that provider and care of that her father needs him to be. And that's something that I can hope can happen in the future. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, like I said before, for me personally, like, it's crazy because it's been one head of a journey with Sam and Citra. And I never thought I'd be coming to a point where I'm like, you know what? I actually get it more now and I actually, I'm happy for this guy. And at the same time, I actually feel sorry for him you know, based on whatever he may have been through. But either way, though, the signs are here and the signs are that uh, he's in a place where he's actually looking to become better and he has started that. I mean, look at it this way. Compare Sam to, to what's his name again? <sighs> Solve his guy, Rob, that's it. Compare Sam to Rob. You just said I'm saying. Rob says he's going to try and do, the, 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 do these things. Rob has been stagnant for a long time. That's why him and Sophie are always going for the same thing. Sam looks like he's actually made changes throughout. Now, of course, he has withheld information previously to make sure that she landed in America. But I understand why now. It's because he's been afraid that she might leave him. So that's why he's done what he's done. I'm not saying it's right, but I'm saying that I understand it. But hey, you guys let me know what you're thinking down below. And we will most certainly talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.